G'day guys, today I'm going to be just giving you a quick introduction to, Win, uh, to Microsoft Azure. So Microsoft Azure is basically Microsoft's cloud platform. So this is the website that you get if you want to go. You can actually do a free trial. So if you go free account, you'll get $260 in credit to use in the first month and that will give you a chance to jump in, test it out see what's going on. So you can just go start now to do that. You need a Microsoft account to do that or even an Office 365, like any Microsoft account will be able to use Azure and be able to sign up to it. If you don't have one, just sign up for one. It's the same as an Outlook.com account or a Live.com account or the old um, Hotmail accounts. So they're all Microsoft accounts. So Azure has a bunch of different products. As you can see, there's um, these popular solutions. So if you want to put web apps, mobile apps, virtual machines, all that sort of stuff. So you can have like your databases on here. You've got SQL databases, virtual machines. So you can just put your full Windows Server virtual machine on there as a service. And the way it works is you pay a monthly fee. So that fee is based on usage not on time or anything like that. It's sort of like usage versus time, which I'll show you soon. But yeah, there's a bunch of different stuff on here. Analytics features that you can use. You can use data learning. You can just use it as a storage platform. So it is like a lot like Amazon um, web services, like AWS. So this is basically Microsoft's competing product to AWS. So if you do know of AWS, Similar to that, you've got all of your storage stuff. You can do um, CDN, so content delivery networks and encoding services. And the idea of this is that you can scale a lot quicker than physical hardware. If you have physical hardware and you need more servers for over Christmas, you're going to have to buy physical boxes to put your data on, to put your web apps on or whatever apps you're running because of high traffic times. With Azure, you can just scale up. If you need another virtual machine, you can just click and have another virtual machine, use it for a month and then delete it. And then you're not paying that capital infrastructure cost. So I'll take you into the portal to have a little, oh, actually we'll take you through, I won't take you through the pricing. I've got another video on pricing, which you'll see the link up here for the pricing video. If you want to work out how to figure out how much Azure will cost for you to run, you can do go on to this video, take a look through that, and that will take you through how to figure out the pricing. So I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the Azure portal. So when you first log into Azure, you'll be greeted with this dashboard, which you can customize to put your different services on. As you can see, these are my current resources that I have. There's a marketplace. You can see the health of the network. So like if you clicked on there, you can see all of them are good. If you wanted to take more of a drill down, you can click. So as you see, there's this sort of panel set up like the um, Windows 8.1 start screen, full screen panel dashboard sort of set up. If you click on another one, it will load up. So there's no errors or warnings at the moment. So Let's take a look. I've got a virtual machine here. We'll take a look at that. So on this left-hand side is your sections. And you can see I've got this virtual machine, which is stopped. So if I click on it to start this virtual machine back up, I can click the Start button. Do you want to start this server? Yes. So that'll start, and you get this little thing here that tells you what's going on. So in the top right-hand corner, you have your user information. So you can change your password, sign out, or submit an idea. You've got this sort of help section here where you can go to support, manage your support request, create a support request, show diagnostics, and also view the terms and conditions of using Azure. You can select this button to give them feedback if you want to. This thing will take you to your portal settings. So you can change your theme here, you can change your notif disable animations, labels, change your language, change your region, 
and choose which subscriptions you want to see if you have multiple subscriptions, which I do. I had the free trial, now I've got that Azure Pass. And if you hit this close button in any of them, it will take you back either to the last thing you saw. So if I click this, it'll open one on the right. If I close that, you'll still see this, but if I close that, that'll close both, which I'll show you what I mean. So if I close that, it goes back to this. If I click that out again and close this, it'll close both of them. So it'll close anything to the right of it. Then you've got your customize button. So you can click this and customize your dashboard. So we could go search for resources and there's no available tiles. If we go general, we could add this tile into there and you can change the size of it and do whatever you want. You can also move these around to where you want them. So if I don't want marketplace anymore, like let's say I don't want the help and support anymore, I can click the X and that will remove it. Once you're done customizing, click the done customizing button. This here is your notifications. So this will tell you what's happening now and also what has finished happened. So as you can see, it's still starting my virtual machine. If I click on that, it will take me to this starting virtual machine icon. And you can see it's been happening for two minutes. It's in progress right now. And this is an informational notification. Um, so you can create a second dashboard as well if you want. So you can new dashboard. And then you'll have the new dashboard there. And you can change your dashboards. So if I wanted to change the name of it or anything, I don't like this dashboard, so I'm going to delete it. So like, say you had multiple different app clusters, you could have different dashboards for that, for whatever you see. Now you've seen this notification so that my virtual machine has started. So if I click on that, it will now tell me that it has started the virtual machine. So before it said starting virtual machine and the time, and now it has started. So you can also view your subscriptions. So your subscriptions is sort of like your billing. You can see my free trial has been disabled now. I can click on Azure Pass and it will tell me my role, the subscription ID, purchase date, billing period, and your burn rate. So your burn rate is basically how much it's costing you at this time. So you can see that. You can see how much money I've used and where I've used them. So you see public IP address has cost me eight cents, $3.17 for my compute hours. So this will break it up by services. And if you want to add a section, you can add a section the same, but there's no tiles available. You can also click this button to do a bunch of different stuff. So say I wanted to pin that to my dashboard, unclick that, and it'll give me a notification saying it's pinned to the dashboard. If I close these and go back to the dashboard, now I'll have that there. On my dashboard shows me how much money I've been using. So let's dig a little bit deeper on, say, per service settings. So say this um, server again. We'll go into there, and it will show you a basic monitoring window. So at the moment, it's just got CPU percentage. Once it loads up, and I've also got it to show my memory usage, my disk write, and my disk read. So this will give you live statistics or, you know, polls every minute or so and give you statistics on how much of your resources you are using. So you can also set monitoring rules to alert you if anything's happened. So you can, this will happen on most services too. Say I haven't created any rules. Let's add a rule and click add alert. Just let it so, as you see, it's got the resource of my test server one. Let's change the, let's give this a name, alert. This is an alert. Also on all these little things that have the eyes, you can click on them and they'll tell you what you want to do. So, 
what I want to do is alert me if it starts using too much memory and you can say greater than or equal to less than so greater than <coughs> threshold 1% so I want it if it's over 80% memory for more than 5 minutes or for 10 minutes I say for more than 5 minutes email let me email email me and email the owners so as you see like say that's an additional administrator this will email me the other owner of the role and it will also email an additional administrator and we'll get rid of that you can also do this other stuff and if you want it to do an automation thing you can click there and let it do it but I don't think I have any automation things set up so you could have it set to restart the machine or something like that oh no here there's a couple so if that happens it'll restart the VM and also uh, send me an email I don't want this to happen and just exit that and hit OK so now that is basically creating an alert rule and for all of the different services there'll be different or oh, can't exit that till this is finished so for the different services there'll be different alert rules for different issues that are happening and as you can see I've successfully created the alert rule so yeah navigating this whole thing's pretty easy it's all left to right sort of stuff open something it opens next to the right so it's the same way as you read a book you can also hit browse to see more stuff so if you wanted to see any of your other things that are here that you've got filtered down these are just the major ones and I'll show you how to add services so to add a service you hit the new button and it will show you all of these different things that you can add so say you wanted to add a virtual machine you can click on that and then it will list them from the most popular to least popular so you could deploy a server 2012 you can click this see all to actually see everything that you want to do so you see these ones are recommended all that different stuff so say I wanted to display um, put down and uh, uh, deploy an Ubuntu server you could click on that it'll tell you which version you want to deploy I want to deploy 16.04 LTS which is the latest one latest long term support edition as of now so you click that and you do this and click create and stuff like that which I'm not going to take you through right now I've got a video on how to deploy server 2012 R2 on um, Microsoft Azure which you'll see the link for up there if you want to see it so anyway that was a basic overview of what Azure is and how to deploy it or how to navigate it I'm going to be doing more Azure videos as time goes on so don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to learn more about Microsoft Azure and leave a comment below too if you have anything that in specific that you want to know and I'll make a video on that and I'll share it back to you if you want or just let me know anything else you want to know thank you and I'll talk to you